Um, I think really when teachers considering using new technologies in language learning, there are so many out there and particularly with sort of cloud computing these things, they're becoming more and more things online that they could use. What they need to do I think is to focus on what are the unique capacities of the different technologies that are out there. So first of all start with maybe a bit of information gathering, perhaps to, talking to learning technologists, uh, maybe the IT manager in their schools, finding out what's out there, what's the unique capacities of those are. So, for example, when the PC was first introduced, um, its multimedia capacities, um, its ability to produce, uh, present uh, lots of sort of lots of practice, um, you know, and its availability 24/7 for extended practice. Also, adaptivity and branching. Uh, then looking at maybe sort of going on a few years, um, computer mediated communication. Here, the technology is opening up the possibility of actually engaging with the target language community. Um, then, sort of wikis, maybe you could say this is, as I've said, the window on the writing process. Um, so, first of all, an information gathering activity because it's hard to think of how you'd use the technologies if you, if you don't know what the possibilities are. Then when you come to an actual lesson, say you've got a lesson you want to use the technology in, I would start off as you do with any, any lesson, sort of setting out, um, first of all thinking about what maybe your teaching philosophy is, what, how the syllabus is orientated. Then thinking about what it is you want to teach the learner. So first of all we considered sort of the, the fit to the teacher, then the fit to the learner. In terms of that you want to think about what is the content you want to teach, what is the level of the students, then other sort of variables of the students, so their age, um, so you, that would be important considering sort of the size of text, all sorts of aspects of the interface, um, whether it's boys or girls, because there is a little bit of anecdotal evidence that girls prefer communicative activities, whereas boys it's more problem solving, but whether there really are those differences, but these are things you want to consider. And then you'd actually go to the technology that you're considering and sort of look at, an, at um, what one researcher is going to call sort of the operational description of it. So what are the activity types that are there? How are they presented? Um, what are the, whether, are there feedback mechanisms? How is the input presented? Are there ways of tracking the students? Then, once, once you've done that, you want to sort of look back and see whether these two things fit together. So you don't really, while I say the teacher needs to start off by sort of scoping out the field of technology, an activity should not be directed by the technology, it shouldn't be driven by the technology, it should be driven by starting out with what are your, what is your teaching philosophy, what are the goals of the lesson.